Welcome back family, AVS here and today I have some incredible footage to show you of another person who has escaped Hollywood and is now speaking out against it and she has come to Christ and it is truly truly awesome. Now her name is Wo Vicky and she even goes into details about what took place at a quote unquote party which she believes to have been a recruitment process. Now without any further ado, here's the highlights from that interview. What's it called? No, but I go with Jesus now. That's why I date for now. Hey, round of applause for her today, <laughs> Jesus. Until, until, until I get married. So are you celibate? Yeah. So you saving, you waiting till marriage. Mm -hmm. So no sex till marriage. No sex till marriage. Y'all hear that, boys? No sex till marriage. <laughs> I, I encourage, I encourage everyone to do that because it really is worth it. Now, so you, you gave your life to God mm -hmm. a while back. Mm -hmm. And I know you had did a um, podcast that had went viral a while back when you were talking about the Illuminati trying to stick you for your blood in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Was that like that was really true? Like, oh, so like I can tell you what happened. So I went to um, Bella Thorne was having a little party. Right. It wasn't my idea to go there. I was invited by some friends and it was a Halloween party. I don't even celebrate Halloween, but like just um, even the Bible says good company corrupts good character. But this is when I was like not too. I just didn't know certain things I know now let mm -hmm. me just say it like that and um and um I guess it's, you could call it being lukewarm but I just didn't know certain things that I know now yeah and um and um so I was just hanging around some people and and they was going to the party and there was so many signs like one of the signs was you, you can't you gotta be half naked to go another sign was um you couldn't bring your phone you had to sign an NDA and I was like oh, I'm bringing my phone anyway like, I was gonna sneak it in and yeah, I've been to some parties <laughs> like that in mind where they try to take your phone. I see some crazy yeah. stuff too, but yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I, we got. I want to know what you done see. I'm gonna ask you after <laughs> this. So, I've never been to a party like that. You know, in Atlanta, they don't do that. They don't do stuff like that. Right. And um and um and so I was like, whatever. I'm gonna bring my phone. Whatever. So I was signing my name. Then I was like, oh yeah, um, you gotta prick your blood <laughs> to get in. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I'm straight. Everybody else, they went, and I was waiting on my Uber. And while I was waiting on my Uber, this girl passed out. Do you really believe the Illuminati is real? Oh, they real. Like, have have That's they the tried devil. to recruit you or? I think they were trying to recruit me right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting popularity, getting you money, getting you views. So it's like selling yourself. Like you do right. this, you going with whoop. The industry, it's like you have to do certain things to get that. So I believe he had to do certain things to get where he's going. And like the certain things is you got to do this and lead people this way and lead people that way. So you heard it for yourself, family. Make sure you do keep Wo Vicky in your prayers. Pray that she continually walks with Christ, that she grows in her relationship with the Most High and that she speaks out about the things that the Most High Yah wants her to expose because we are all instructed to expose the works of darkness and that is what she is doing there. So hallelujah. Now we're going to touch on a few Bible verses that are relevant here so that you can understand why cults are consistently obsessed with certain things. Now we are told that life is in the blood. Now we are told very clearly in Leviticus 17 14 for it is the life of all flesh, the blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh. Basically, do not eat blood. For the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whoever eats it shall be cut off. Now, this is a very clear instruction that you are never to eat blood. Now, you will notice there are a lot of cuisines across the world that eat blood. There is even something in the United Kingdom called black pudding, which is literally boiled pig's blood or cooked pig's blood. I'm not sure exactly how they make it, but I am aware that it is pig's blood. Now, cults are obsessed with eating blood. The occult is obsessed with blood. And the reason is because it is an abomination. Cults, the children of the devil, they will do anything to corrupt you. And sadly, we're living in a time where people can reach the masses with one video. People who are not anointed to teach. They try to teach and they teach falsely. And it is very dangerous. Now, let me be very clear about this. You are to never eat blood under any circumstances. Never. And there will be demonized people, liars, people who come and say, oh, but all things are clean now. You can eat anything you want. That is an absolute lie. In the New Testament, in the book of Acts, an instruction given by the Holy Spirit repeating the Old Testament commandment of not eating blood 
is given. The people who preach against the commandments, they are liars and deceivers. And I tell you that in love. You are definitely not under the law, but you do not willfully sin against the Most High Yah. And I tell you that because I don't want you to perish for a lack of knowledge. We are told, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. Now you are saved by grace through faith and not of your works so that nobody can boast. But this is not a license to sin willfully, to willfully break the commandments when you have knowledge. Understand this. It's very, very important. So why I'm talking about this? Now I want you to pay attention to this because this is a verse that all Christians should understand in context because pastors, quote unquote, use this passage to deceive people very often into thinking that they can just eat whatever they want and everything is clean to eat now. That is not what the passage is saying and I'm going to prove it to you. They say that this passage here, that Jesus' disciples are just eating and the Pharisees come along and accuse them and Jesus said, it's not what goes into the body, it's what goes out. They can eat what they want. That's basically how quote unquote pastors interpret this verse today. That is not what's being said. Look, for it doesn't go into their heart, but into their stomach and then out of the body. Now pay attention. This is in brackets, meaning this is not actually in the original scriptures. In saying this, Jesus declared all foods clean. This is why I say stay away from these translations. They have people's perspectives inserted into the text. That is why it's in a bracket. Go with the, the King James version, okay? Or a version of Greek and Hebrew, if you can read Greek and Hebrew, that'll be even more accurate. But now let's look at the context because this is nothing to do with what foods are being eaten, okay? This is the context. Then came together unto him the Pharisees and certain of the scribes which came from Jerusalem. And when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with defiled, that is to say with unwashed hands, they found fault. For the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they wash their hands, oft eat not, holding the tradition of the elders. So this was the Pharisees trying to place traditions upon Christ's disciples. And Christ said to them in a very, very harsh rebuke, you're hypocrites basically, because these are not the commandments of God. You see, laying aside the commandments of God, ye hold the traditions of men. Christ is rebuking the traditions of men. He is not saying that all of the Torah is null and void, that these commandments are nothing. That is not what he's saying. He's saying if somebody eats with unwashed hands, it doesn't defile them. That's what he's actually saying. When you eat, if you eat something without washing your hands, you're not defiled just because you didn't wash your hands. This is a tradition of men. So that's the context of the verse. And sadly, the world uses these passages to deceive people so heavily. It's so heavy, the deception. And then there will be wicked modern day Pharisees who come at me and say, you're under the law. No, you're saved by grace through faith and not of your works so that nobody can boast. It is the gift of God. You are saved by faith, by grace through faith in Christ, what he done for you. He died, his blood was shed and he rose on the third day. There is no way that you can earn your salvation. But if you love him, if you love him, you will keep his commandments. That is what he said. It's nothing to do with salvation. It's to do with obedience through love, okay? When you love him, you keep his commandments. You don't want to come against him. You definitely don't want to take his statements out of context and then use that to deceive people and say, hey, you can eat blood. Don't, don't listen to people online. Don't listen to YouTubers. You can definitely eat blood. It, it, that's not what Jesus was saying. Jesus was saying, you can eat anything now. It's all, it's all good. You can eat blood. You can eat anything you want. No, it's not true. And I'll prove it to you real quick that you cannot eat blood. Let's go to the New Testament. If we go to Acts 15, 28, this is the New Testament. After Christ was crucified, after his blood was shed and he rose from the dead, this is the Holy Spirit spirit giving command after those events okay so this is not the old testament acts 15 28 for it seemed good to the holy spirit and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things that you abstain from things offered to idols from blood from blood so you cannot eat blood from things strangled so you cannot eat food that is from an animal that has been strangled and from sexual immorality if you keep yourselves from these you will do well farewell this is very important that you understand that Christ did not come to create a lawless world. He came so that you could be born again in the spirit and therefore you will listen to the Holy Spirit. Being born again, you become a slave to righteousness. You want to do the right thing. It's not a burden for you. You love him so much that now you want to do the right thing. I'm not saying that people don't fall short. That's what repentance is for. If you fall short, you repent. 
you truly feel conviction and you repent and you feel disgusted by sin but it doesn't mean you willfully sin it doesn't mean you say nah you know i've got christ now so i'm gonna eat things offered to idols i'm gonna eat i'm gonna eat foods that have been sacrificed to idols oh i've got christ now so i'm gonna eat blood oh i've got christ now so it doesn't matter if the animal was strangled when it was killed it doesn't matter if the animals were suffering because i've got christ now oh i've got christ now so it doesn't matter if i practice sexual immorality no that's wickedness that is satanic that is not how it works and if you believe that that is how it works you really need to actually study the word deeper and stay away from false prophets who are lying to you because the commandments are good they are not burdensome they are a blessing every commandment he gave us is for our own good love yahweh your elohim with all of your heart mind soul and strength and love your neighbor as yourself the entire law hangs upon these two commandments okay he didn't come to destroy the law or the prophets but to fulfill now these modern day cults they did come to destroy the law or the prophets and that's why i'm telling you this the plan of satan is to make you become lawless is to deceive you into another gospel the true gospel is you're saved by grace through faith and not of your own works so that nobody can boast it is the gift of god but what happens when you are born again do you become a child of satan and continue in sin on purpose so that grace may abound paul made it clear that you don't do this anyways like i said there'll be far more deeper teaching lessons in the future but praise yah that woe vicky has been saved this is something that i felt very strongly convicted to talk about on this video so that's why i did please family don't eat blood please I'm, I'm i'm asking you very very passionately as your brother in christ please abstain from these things here please family abstain from things offered to idols Ab abstain from blood abstain from things strangled abstain from sexual immorality please family listen to the holy spirit he is truth he's the spirit of truth he doesn't want you to do wicked sins just because you have your own understanding of scripture if a pastor contradicts the bible he is a false teacher end of story anyways family i love you so much make sure if you enjoy my content you smash that thumbs up button subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a new video and be sure to let me know in the comment section what you believe about this entire situation with Wo vicky keep her in your prayers definitely and also let me know if you believe that you can eat blood or not i would greatly appreciate it because we are the body of christ and we must tell the truth to one another we must build each other up we must tell each other the truth no matter what even if somebody is going to hate us for it, even if somebody is going to accuse us for it, we still tell the truth. And that is what is important. I love you so much, family. Big shout out to all of the channel members, the financial supporters of the content. I greatly appreciate you. If you want to become one, consider hitting that join button or check out my Patreon. Apart from that, family, may the Most High Yah shine his face upon you always and give you peace. And I'll see you on the next one. Shalom, shalom.